Tennis legend Billie Jean King spoke out against Florida's parental rights in education law, also known as the Don't Say Gay law, during a press conference at the Billie Jean Cup qualifier in Delray Beach. King, who was one of the first athletes to come out as gay, criticized the law that prohibits classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity up to the third grade or in a specified manner. She expressed her beliefs in inclusivity and the importance of having different kinds of people on boards and in leadership positions, saying that it's how you really win and get great ideas from diverse sources in life. King was in Delray Beach for the Billie Jean Cup qualifier, where she watched women's tennis player Coco Goff, a local resident, play the first singles match against Austria's top player, Julia Graber. Goff won the match 6, 1-6-3, giving the USA a 1-0 lead. Goff's doubles partner, Jessica Pegola, also won her match against Austria's Sinja Kraus, 6-0-7-5. The qualifier was aired live on the Tennis Channel on both Friday and Saturday. And for more information about the event, visit the USTA's Billie Jean King Cup homepage. King also spoke about her personal journey and the importance of being one's authentic self, saying that she had to figure out who she was and who her authentic self was later in life. She emphasized the importance of being welcoming to everyone and said that inclusion is essential. King wore a rainbow watch band on an Apple Watch during the event and said, We must be bothering him, referring to the governor's recent actions. She added, I have no control over what the governor is doing, and speculated that he probably has gay kids in his family even if he doesn't know it. Overall, King's presence at the Billie Jean Cup qualifier and her comments about inclusivity and authenticity reflect her ongoing commitment to promoting diversity and acceptance in sports and beyond.